Today, we're diving into the incredible history of humanoid robots, a journey from clunky mechanical marvels to AI-powered wonders that can walk, talk, and even dance. From 1928 to 2025, we've got 50 groundbreaking robots to explore, each pushing the boundaries of what machines can do. Buckle up, because this is a wild ride through nearly a century of innovation. Hit that subscribe button, and let's get started. Let's start our story with Leonardo's robot, or Leonardo's Mechanical Knight, a humanoid automaton designed and possibly constructed by Leonardo da Vinci in the late 15th century. The robot's design largely consists of a series of pulleys and gears that allow it to mimic human motions. Operational versions of the robot have been reconstructed by multiple researchers after the discovery of Leonardo's sketches in the 1950s. But long that, Japan created Karakuri Ninjio, mechanical dolls from the Edo period, from 17th to 19th centuries. These traditional automata were powered by hidden gears, springs, pulleys, and even gravity, no electricity needed. Karakuri could perform all kinds of tasks, serving tea, shooting arrows, or acting out scenes in miniature theater shows. One of the most famous is the Zashiki Karakuri a doll that carries a teacup to a guest, pauses when the cup is lifted, then returns once it's placed back. Each doll was handmade by skilled clockmakers and artists. More than just machines, they were works of art that reflected Japan's creativity, precision, and love for storytelling through technology. In 1927, engineer Roy Wensley built a robot called Herbert Televox. It started as a simple box of switches. To make it more appealing, Roy added a human-like body, glowing eyes, and a moving hand. It couldn't walk or talk, so some don't consider it a true humanoid. But it had one amazing feature, it could answer phone calls and control home devices. Say you left the oven on at home, just call Televox, and it could turn it off for you. You needed a special phone with three buttons to send tones. One to pick a device, one to control it, and one to hang up. Here's the fun fact, Roy wasn't trying to build a robot. He was promoting a new vacuum tube for Westinghouse Electric. Still, Televox was way ahead of its time. Picture this, it's 1928, and, at a London exhibition, Captain Richards and Alan Reffel unveil Eric, a six-foot-tall aluminum giant that could stand, sit, walk, and even play drums. With basic arm movements, powered by electromagnets, Eric was a spectacle, wowing crowds with pre-recorded speech. In 1932, Yasutaro Mitsui unveiled his steel humanoid robot in Tokyo, Japan, marking an early milestone in Japanese robotics. The robot, likely a static or minimally animated figure with a bowing action, featured exposed electrical parts inspired by Western designs. Its rigid structure and decorative valves reflected the era's fascination with futuristic automata. Fast forward to 1939, Westinghouse's Electro takes the stage at the New York World's Fair. This 7-foot, 265-pound robot could walk by voice command, speak 700 words, and, get this, smoke cigarettes. Its dexterity was simple, just head and arm movements, but it sparked dreams of a robotic future. By 1973, Waseda University's Wabat One brought new tricks walking at a slow 0.3 meters per second, gripping objects, and even speaking basic Japanese with early vision tech. These pioneers set the stage, but the real revolution was coming. In 1986, Honda kicked off a game-changing era with E0, a four-foot prototype that mastered basic bipedal walking, though at a snail's pace of 0.2 meters per second. 
no hands, no frills, just pure experimentation. By 1993, Honda's P1 was a beast, 6 foot 3, 385 pounds, and able to carry objects while walking at 0.5 meters per second. P2, in 1996, upped the ante, climbing stairs and hauling 10 kilograms at 0.8 meters per second. Then, in 1997, P3 streamlined the design, hitting 1 meter per second with autonomous navigation. The pinnacle? Asimo, in 2000. This 4 foot 3, 119 pound superstar ran at 3.7 meters per second, climbed stairs, recognized faces, and grasped objects with advanced dexterity. Costing around a million bucks, Asimo was a global icon, showing the world what humanoid robots could achieve. The early 2000s brought robots with personality. Sony's QRIO, in 2003, was a pint-sized marvel, at just 2 feet tall and 16 pounds. It danced, ran at 2 meters per second, and used voice and face recognition for social vibes. Fujitsu's HOAP2, in 2005, a 1 foot 7 research platform, walked at 0.5 meters per second and cost about 50 grand. Wasita's Wabut 2, in 2006, amazed crowds by playing keyboards and reading sheet music. Then, in 2009, Aldebaran's now, 1 foot 11, 12 pounds, and just 15 K, became a research darling, playing soccer and teaching kids. By 2014, SoftBank's Pepper rolled in on wheels, at 0.5 meters per second, reading emotions and serving customers for 20 grand. These robots weren't just machines, they were companions. Robots have made big strides in both space and on Earth. In 2011, NASA's Robonaut 2, a 330-pound space-ready torso, helped astronauts on the ISS with its precise tool handling. Japan's HRP-4C could walk, sing, and mimic human expressions. Boston Dynamics Atlas was a 6 feet 2 inches, 330-pound powerhouse, running at 2.5 meters per second and handling rough terrain. In 2016, Hanson Robotics Sophia impressed with lifelike expressions and public speaking, while China's Jia, Jia chatted and gestured. Armar 6 from Karlsruhe used drills and hammers, and Aptronik's Apollo lifted 55-pound loads in warehouses. These robots were built for both hard work and human awe. By 2018, ETH Zurich's Nina learned tasks by watching humans, paving the way for adaptable robots. Agility Robotics Digit, in 2019, carried totes in warehouses, walking at 1.5 meters per second for 250 k. In 2021, engineered arts Emeka stunned with lifelike expressions. The 2023 boom brought Figure AI's Figure 01 for logistics, Sanctuary AI's Phoenix with human-like hands, and Unitree's H1, sprinting at 3.3 meters per second for 90 grand. In 2024, Tesla's Optimus Gen 2 danced and poached eggs, for an estimated 30k, while Boston Dynamics' Electric Atlas ran at 4 meters per second. From Nura's 4 in E1, with tactile feedback, to Rainbow Robotics' DRC Hubo, drilling in disasters, today's robots are redefining work, care, and exploration. From Eric's Drumbeats, in 1928, to Optimus Cooking Breakfast, in 2025, humanoid robots have evolved from novelties to indispensable allies. What's next? Robots on Mars? In our homes? Drop your thoughts in the comments, smash that like button, and subscribe for more tech deep dives. Until next time, keep dreaming of a robotic future.